Whichever way you came at the hills this morning, conditions were tricky and some Transpennine routes were blocked. Cars needed a scrape, so did roads and pavements. We're going to a spa, but we've got stuck at the moment. We don't know which direction to take. It's been horrible. You should see all cars trying to get up there, and it's a bit of a spot for uh, people trying to get up there, and car people in cars. So, as you can see, it's not stopped. Well, this is the result of one early morning mishap out in the snow. The driver of this car had to be rescued after flipping over. Even though the gritters have been out and cleared most of the main roads, this shows you how dangerous some of those side roads can be. The driver was lucky to escape without injury. Even flying away wasn't easy. Leeds Bradford Airport was closed earlier and there are delays this evening at Manchester. Passengers say planes have been held up for hours because of a shortage of de-icing teams. But at Salford Quays, the weather wasn't allowed to interrupt the sport relief five-a-side marathon football match. The Pennine landscape was given an alpine coating, up to 10 centimetres of snow in places. It meant many schools across Lancashire and Yorkshire were closed, but high up at Scapegoat Hill Primary on the edge of Huddersfield, there were no excuses today. We make sure that we stay open as long as we can. They're a real hardy lot up here. They've, a lot of them have walked to school this morning instead of coming in the cars. It's a privilege for them to get out and have some fun in it. All of us have got to school, either in a car or walking, but it's very hard because of the snow. Were you disappointed to find that school's open and you had to come? <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, it's the end of the world. I didn't really want to come to school today. I stayed in bed, but then I had to get up. We're hoping to go sledging. <laughs> um, <Oops>. Yeah. <laughs> and as well as a snowball to the face, there's always the risk of slipping over, even for BBC cameramen. Dan Johnson, BBC News, near Huddersfield.